He is the son of one president, the brother of another. Now Jeb Bush is sending the strongest indications yet that he may run for that job. But a ballot with another Bush on it is just one of the reasons why a lot of voters may feel a bit of deja vu in the race for 2016. Our report tonight from NBC's Andrea Mitchell. Could 2016 be the year of the political reruns, or in Jeb Bush's case, political sequels? Jeb Bush today in South Carolina, which just happens to be an early primary state, teasing graduates about following in their parents' footsteps. And I can tell you from personal experience, if your parents worked in politics, well, you know the rest. He's showing every sign of running. Plans to release 250,000 emails from his years as Florida's governor, plus a new book and a strategy. Refused to veer right in the primaries to appeal to more voters in the fall. Big brother George W. is egging him on. He knows I want him to run. If I need to reiterate it, I will. Run, Jeb. Uh, I think he'd be a great president. Hillary Clinton, another familiar face with a big head start, but under big pressure from the party's left. The American people are disgusted by Wall Street bailouts. Elizabeth Warren says she's not running now. But can Clinton, who's made paid speeches for Wall Street, appeal to Democratic populists? She's already don't trying. Anybody, don't let anybody tell you that, um, you know, it's corporations and businesses that create jobs. So if this is the year when voters want something different, Warren, Chris Christie, Rand Paul. I don't think uh, Hillary Clinton or Jeb Bush can run as an outsider. <laughs> Still with signs that Rick Santorum, Mike Huckabee, even Mitt Romney might run again, that could make Hillary Clinton or Jeb Bush look positively new. Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, Washington.